where are we now? None of those open. Oh, can we see? Oh, that's just bones. <laughs> Interstellar crew. Oh, so this is from the people who are originally on the ship, then. Keep your eyes out for dissidents. Okay, let's see where I need to go. Plan out my trip. Oh, there's a lot of rooms in there that I should look through. Okay, I can run through here and then back These out. These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the dearly departed? No? That's odd, because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh, I see. Yes, never mind. <laughs> I, I don't know if we should be in here, Captain. It should be private, shouldn't it? Warning. Unauthorized blah blah blah. Available entry. I wonder if I should have gone to the the comms before I came up here. I just want to see everything. <laughs> Automated audio transcript. Uh what is it, Resi? Captain, hey, sorry for waking you. One of the pod alarms went off. I didn't know what to do. Pod alarms? The colonists? Yes. See? I'll check it out, thanks. I'm writing this down because I'm not sure what to do, but I want the incident on record. One of our colonists has gone missing. The cameras in the pod bay have been deactivated for I don't know how long. Resi helped me hook up another hook up an hook another up in secret. I've been checking on it every morning, and today I discovered our chief engineer tampering with one of the pods in the middle of the night. I haven't confronted him yet. I'll collect more evidence before I do. I don't know why Frank would start waking people up. We're short on food as it is. Yeah, he was saying that in his log that there's not enough food, but he was still waking people up anyway. Was he planning to eat the people? Okay, so this is the captain to Frank. I should throw you out of the fucking airlock, Frank. You should be thanking me for solving our food crisis. This is your solution? Sacrificing innocent people? What's going on? Resi, find Alexei. We're throwing Frank in the brig. What? Why? He's been in e He's the one who's tampering with the pods. Oh, what? You're gonna spare him? Spare her the grisly details? I ate them, Resi. You... You ate them? And I ain't apologizing for it. If we don't survive, they're as good as dead anyway. I'm... Oh no, I... I can't. I'm gonna be sick. Just find Alexei. Okay, okay. I've been talking to Frank. And how's the brig? Captain, he makes a kind of sense. Damn it, Alexei, not you too. Don't listen to that madman. What if your wife can't grow more food? What if it fails? Then we'll figure something else out. We're not cannibals. Is there anything else in there? It was just the term of the, um, the entries. Man, so they did become cannibals. <laughs> secret room back there. Alright, to the secret room. Advanced defensive helmet gold. Eighty-four. Level 34, what's this? Level 30, wow. Well, uh, what do you guys want? Let's see, 55. 77. Okay, Parvati, you're getting it. What else is in here? 
heavy machine gun too. Is it gonna be a very good gun? Eleven oh nine. Man, okay, what? So, what does it take? Heavy weapons? How much do I have for heavy? Five thousand. Oh God, I. <laughs> that takes light, heavy, energy, heavy. Pretty much everything I've got takes heavy. So nine versus nine hundred forty-two. You know what? We're gonna go with that. Just use up all our heavy ammo. So we got so much. Man. <laughs> We're gonna have to try to sneak. Okay, let him go on by. Oh, we have to. Let him walk the other way first. It's good they can't see you two. Right there he goes. You having problems there? <laughs> Can you guys get out of the way? Fresh. All right, continue error accessing. All right. Alas, Mamochka, I failed. The tomatoes die on their stalks. Something must be wrong with the soil. We have a month of rations. The crew talks of. The crew talks of cannibalism, my Wilhelm fights to bolster off their wilting spirits, and to bar the way from those too far gone. At nights, while my stomach grumbles, I fear I too might stray, for, stray toward that dark path, but I think of our Lucas asleep in his pod, and then I think of all those other sons and daughters and mothers and fathers. If I woke up in Halcyon and my family had been devoured by these ghoulish men, I will steal my resolve. I will resist. The physical effects of starvation are well documented, but we never learned about the toll they take on your mind. The things you hold true become walls between hunger and satisfaction. The difference between right and wrong blurs. I told Frank we'd have to eat about a third of the colonists in order to survive our journey. When we still had rations that seemed impossibly unjust, tens of thousands of innocent people to save 24. Now I'm not so sure. Attention, all crew. I don't know who let Frank Nolda out of his cell, but he is now an enemy of this ship. Anyone in league with him will be imprisoned for the duration of our journey. Anyone caught tampering with the cold storage pods will be frozen, and upon our arrival in Halcyon, you will be turned into the authorities. I am locking off the cold storage bays. Frank, if you can hear me, there's still time to turn yourself in. Please. Rezzy, can you get us to Halcyon? Um... I've been working on it. Can you get us there? I have to, Captain. Good. Meet me on the bridge. We'll make our last stand there. Wait, what about Donna? She won't be joining us. What the hell? What happened? I'll fill you in when we when you get there. Hurry. Okay, fuck, I can't believe this is happening. Well, things went differently than I was expecting. make as little, uh, or walk as little as I possibly can so I can save my, uh, my sneaky bar. <laughs> is that anything? What is that? Retro rockets. Nothing in here. 
There's a hole way back there. Okay. Looks like I'm not going to have any sneak left. It's like a little secret area. Is this where Frank was hiding out? Donna Hunt personal log. Mama, Wilhelm, Lucas, forgive me. Frank offered me so tiny a piece. It tasted like... It doesn't matter what it tasted like. It was delicious and I loved it. Let it be known that I broke the lock to my personal quarters, not Wilhelm. I'll die in here and that is my choice. Sealed. Okay. Where am I now? Oh, around here. So I still need to look through there. Oh, this is pretty. So that goes back into the main room. Actually, okay, so I came through there, back that way. Yeah, so I, need, I still need to look to see if I can get in this room. Leaded armor, level 15. Ah, oh shit. <laughs> Up, oh, somebody. Okay, they're not coming. Okay, the door is closed. <laughs> Let's check out the bridge. It's probably going to be that I needed to come here eventually, but I just want to see everything. Make sure I don't miss any possible... Oh, what does that go back to? Oh, so auxiliary comms and unavailable use status to verify power. Okay. Logs. Okay, automated audio transcript. Open the fucking door, Will. No, you're killing us. Better you than the colonists. This is idiotic. If we don't keep this ship afloat, they'll die anyway. Unnecessary risk. Rezzy is plotting our course. The ship will fly true. You're gambling with hundreds of thousands of people's lives. And you're hand-picking which few you'll consume in your madness. Damn it, Alexei, find me a fucking drill. Captain, you hear that? Hear what? The drill stopped. Maybe they're taking a break. Maybe it broke. Maybe they're trying to get into cold storage. If they get through before they starve, they'll outlast us. Keep working, Rezzy. I'll take care of it. I think I'm the only one left. I don't know what Captain Hunt did down there, but he hasn't come back, and they haven't used the drill, and I'm done. The course is set. I'm down to my last day of food, and I don't want to die like Donna did. Fly true hope. Is his body anywhere in here? I guess I've got to go back to uh, to that station. Well, let's see if I can sneak past everyone.
sentry down. What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I just made that. Oof. All right, let's go back down. one of the auto mix and turn them off. Oh, just in time. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't disable them permanently? Oh, too bad. All right, uh, let's see. Route communications through the unreliable. Logs. Begin audio log. Is this thing working? I said begin audio, damn it. This is, uh, this is P. Wells. Yes, let's go with that. Work continues on test subject 112, retrieved from hibernation bay 8. Time of extraction, oh, let's say two and a half hours ago. Time of death, six minutes prior. What? <laughs> so, oh, this probably, I was going to say, is this me? No, it must have been one of the other ones he tried. Explosive cell death, my arch nemesis, haunting my every attempt at reviving our frozen colonists, making a mockery of my procedures. I've tried every combination of every chemical available to me, attempted every variation of every possible thawing procedure. A gradual melt, a flash thaw, extremities first, brain first. Don't know how much more of this I can take. Four hours of sleep in the last 72. Can still hear their screaming in my nightmares. Test subject 112. Real name Harley Stanton. Age 39. Enjoyed singing. I'm sorry, Harley. I couldn't save you. Oh, that kind of shows there that you know, this was the right choice. He did actually care about the colonists and wasn't doing it for some kind of personal gain or anything. Begin audio log as soon as I lay the words, or as, I, as soon as I say the words begin audio log. What a ridiculously inconvenient program. What happens if I just accidentally say the phrase audio log? Don't know why I'm talking to, frozen, talking to a frozen colonist. You're losing it, Phineas. Focus, focus. Come on, make the incision. There we go. Excellent. Well, well, my frigid friend, you disobeyed the moratorium on ingesting food 36 hours prior to hibernation, didn't you? Thank the law for disposable gloves. Steady now, steady. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Damn slippery scalpel. Who makes these anyway? Spacer's choice? All right, I've got no choice. I'm going in. Oh, they're hacked and... Oh, I was going to say they were hacked and didn't notice me anymore, but they definitely do. Uh, unauthorized access will result in immediate blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, manual log. Tor Torrega. Dear diary, everyone is running around trying to figure out how we're going to eat, but none of it means anything if I can't keep us on course. It's hell. Charting 26 years of travel through space is... I don't know if I can handle it. It's so much pressure, so many lives. If I get one thing wrong, one smudged decimal point, one off by one miscalculation, we could crash into an asteroid. I keep thinking of the colonists, they just never wake up. Lucky them. I've called you all here because the numbers on our rations are off. Off? What do you mean off? We have too many. Someone hasn't been taking theirs. Extra food sounds like a good thing, darling. Not extra. Someone's getting their food from another source. They must have it stashed somewhere. So someone could have brought some from Earth. If they did, we need to include it in our rationing, Frank. Oh, because Frank, of course, was saying that. Every bit of food on this ship is to be split among us. It's theirs. It isn't yours to take. 
This isn't about ownership, this is about survival. We're going to run out eventually, and the longer we last, the closer we get to figuring this shit out. Alright, alright. I want everyone to interrogate their crew. Find whoever's not eating their share and bring them forward. Perhaps there's hope yet. Mama used to have such a garden. I grew up on her tomatoes and lemons and limes. When we left Earth, she was so kind as to share a sample of seeds with me, and so that wherever we end up, I might start my own garden. Now buds grow in hydroponics. This may not be a backyard, but it is something. I remember you every day, Mamochka. Now more than ever. Law, help me. It worked. I'm going to hell, but it worked. Now, how the fuck do I break the news to the captain? So the religion of the law and all that was still there before they uh, left Earth. Cap, wanted this on record. Sick of the witch hunt. It's me. I haven't been eating my rations. Why? Don't need it. Don't mind feeling hungry. I need my chief engineer with his full faculties. I'm glad you owned up to this, but start eating your full share. That's an order. All due respect, Cap. We're up shit creek. I'm not sure that that's an order means a lot right now. It holds weight now more than ever, Frank. We need to stay organized. Well, I ain't doing it. So either shove that shit down my throat yourself or give me lef give my leftovers to someone else. Did he just want to be a cannibal? Unexpected. Oh. I see you've located the stasis chambers. Which pod were you slumbering in for so long, Captain? The missing one, I take it? Okay, I was beginning to think I was going to have to hide. Such failed. Suspicious of the There we go. <laughs> I was trying to search around for a place to hide, but turns out I didn't need it. Down there. There's someone here. God, which way was it now? To the right. Excuse me. Just sneak right around back here. Here we are. That's at the, bridge. the hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Oh yeah. yeah. If this all goes wrong and we end up flying into the sun, I just want you all to know it was a real pleasure. <laughs> Calm down, Felix. But yeah, him, I wonder what personality this computer is going to have. Patch Ada through. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. I'm ready to skip. Wait, before I do this, tell me, Ada, am I really doing the right thing? Yeah, am I doing the right thing? Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm, my constellation executables could use some beefing up. <laughs> Searching. Please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Yeah, thank you for your vote of confidence. <laughs> Could you search for another <laughs> executable, please? All right, I'm ready. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. I think that's probably long I'd also <laughs> overdone. I kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? <sighs> skip the hope to Terra 2. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. I'm skipping it myself or do it? I mean, why would I do it whenever I've got a. <laughs> I've got my nav computer who can do it. Worst ways to go out, I suppose. It's nice knowing you, boss. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in 3, 2, 1. ADA. 
Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something, now. the big moment. Oh, hopefully it's not a massive failure. <laughs> so, so far so good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Oh, that's Perhaps not a good sign. Check in on him. Yeah. Oh, oh. I feel like I've been turned inside out. Let's not do that again. <laughs> I guess so we go down that way now. Since we didn't go down this way before. Did I check that? I must have checked that. Done and done. What of you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought this was going to be like a quick way out, but nope. So I would think that all these guys back here are going to be on high alert because, you know, suddenly the skip drive activated. I couldn't get it. All right, let's wait for him to come back around. Come on. Did you guys get out of the way? Let the robot come through. Oh, he made it just fine. Fine. Let that drop back down. Yeah. Do we need to go through? Oh, we can't get up there, can we? Right, you know, I'm gonna refresh this, I think. And now, if I run, does it go down slower? Remember, your needs have been provided for. 
Does that go to anything over there? The 13? <laughs> kind of curious what that is, but I, yeah, it probably just goes back down below. So, you know what? It's fine, we don't, we don't need to go there. Yeah, I, I read that, right? All right, mission successful. I wonder if that guy is going to be out there like, what did you do? Oh. oh, I did not mean to press that. That's what I wanted. It's without the coughing. Okay, calm down. You doing all right? Oh, I never felt anything like that. I'm gonna need a minute. Yeah, since normally, I guess we just uh, use conventional drives to get around the system, so nobody's ever really had to deal with a, a full-on skip. You hear about Edgewater? Damn pirates are screwing us all. Let's go. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. The transmission is marked with priority status. Urgent! <laughs> I was not expecting. <laughs> Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received no. from Dr. Wells. The board is here. They've found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. Oh, understatement but of the year there. Back at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible. How can I be of assistance? Oh, I hope they haven't killed him. May luck be with you. Of course, <sighs> as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Oh man. Well, let's go find Phineas and hope for the best. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Not so top secret anymore. Doc, we're here to save you. Doesn't look like there's been a struggle. It looks like the same generic junk that's here always. Let's see. What kind of gun do I want, just in case? The big gun. Uh, do I have a plasma weapon? I've got heavy machine gun too. You know, it does 1109 DPS, but what's its actual damage per bullet? 133? 96. The assault Rifle Ultra does 123 per. You know, I'm kind of curious how this one works out, though. Alright, what are we going to find in here? Oh, we got bogeys. Okay, keep them quiet. Huh? Oh, crap. Damn it. Oh. That's what I wanted right there. That's what you get. Oh my god. <laughs> I need a, a lot of that. We 
We made it. Jeez. Oh, nothing new here, is there? It's going to be all the same stuff as always. You know, I, I kind of like the, um, kind of like this gun. It doesn't do nearly as much DPS, but I do kind of like it. I need a nice plasma weapon, though. Too bad I don't have another flamethrower 2.0. Oh, I could... There's not a tinkering bench here, is there? I could put a plasma thing on the heavy machine gun, too. The rest of them. Want to pick up any more junk they've got? Is that the captain down there? I assume he was the captain. Oh. Trooper. No, that's just a construction mechanical. Oh, we get to go in his room now. Oh, this is the door that they blasted. Did they take him away? They must have, because I don't see him anywhere. Okay, before we go in there, I want to read the terminal. Oh, his little sisty pig. Contingency plan activated. Publishing last will and testament. Success. Please present login password to continue. Oh, I need 90. I'm pretty close, aren't I? Aren't I like 85? Oh, I'm 70. Maybe I have something back on the ship. So what's this? Subject may be unstable. You know what, before I continue, I'm going to run back to the ship and see what I have that might allow me to hack into that. Just in case I don't get to come back and have another chance at it. Okay, I just swapped out Felix for Max because Max will give me a plus 10 to hack, and I'm pretty sure that will be enough. I didn't have any items stashed away that would increase my hacking because I must have sold them when I was all pissy at uh, Jalakur. <laughs> Yep, that's enough. Okay, great. If you are seeing the screen, I, Phineas V. Wells, have been perni perniciously kidnapped and very probably incarcerated by the pervidious and cowardly government of Halcyon in the prison fortress of Tartarus. If I have not already been executed for charges levied against, leveled against me, I hope the person reading this terminal will find a way to finish my work or rescue me, preferably the latter. This screen constitutes my last will and testament. I commend my body and my belongings to the icy depths of the Aether. If this is Ye's, I have prepared an emergency care package located in a hidden panel. Unlock the panel from my terminal and claim its contents immediately. How about his personal files? Note, must delete entries from terminal memory, no telling who might be looking. First. The Hope made it to Halcyon after all, 25 years too late. The board doesn't know what to do with an entire ship full of frozen colonists, so naturally they're going to leave them there. Corporate tells us revival is impossible. They've tried absolutely nothing, and apparently they're all out of options. Balderdash. Cellular re regeneration after long-term hibernation it re is really just a question of thermodynamics. I'm quite confident I can find a way to revive the Hope's colonists if only Corporate would authorize my requests. Frankly, I don't see why I need the permission of my employers to conduct experiments in the name of scientific advancement. What nonsense. Did Newton beg permission from his employers before discovering the three laws of motion? Genius is not beholden to the vicissitudes of bureaucracy. Besides, the Hope has a cargo of hundreds of thousands of colonists. The board practically expects a few things to go missing. 113 seconds. New record. Most of my subjects last 93 seconds, on average, before total cellular liquefaction reduces them to several gallons of organic soup three degrees above freezing temperature. 113 seconds of screaming. This subject was stronger than the others, but in the end his body failed to survive the revival process. He was my twelfth subject to die. 
I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. Strictly speaking, I do know. The Hope has hundreds of thousands of colonists. I've only experimented on twelve. How many more experiments before I successfully revive a single subject? One? Ten? One hundred? Five hundred? Statistically insignificant. If I experimented on one subject every month, I would not make a dent in the Hope's population in a lifetime. I can still hear the screaming, trouble sleeping, trouble concentrating. Psychological toll significant. On to subject 13. I always suspected this would happen. The board finally discovered what I had done and sent their headhunters to track me down, but they'll never find me. They say I'm a murderer, and they're right. I am. I regret what I've done. But I'm not about to turn myself into the board. I'm not going to go begging the board's forgiveness. Only the Hope's colonists can forgive me for what I've done. They're the only people who can set things right. And I'm going to find a way to revive them no matter how long I have to stay in hiding. I've got my notes with me, I have my equipment, and now I have this lab. It's time I return to my work. Okay, where's the panel that opened? Oh, <laughs> I could have just checked the pig. I wonder if it's in the next room. Because I do not see anything in here that would appear to be a panel. God, but he was... So he was trying to wake the colonists up, but there's not enough food to go around, so waking everyone up would have caused starvation sooner, even now that the colony is kinda stable, they are still starving to death, eating saltuna all the time. So they didn't want him to work because they didn't want him bringing more mouths to feed. But God, they could have potentially figured out a way to fix this. You know, having more of the Earth's best minds on it would be a good thing. Snap key. Finn's force. Oh. oh. What kind of weapon is that? Purple. I've never seen purple. So it's a long gun, energy weapon, stagger, critical damage. Oh, it's N ray. Okay. Phineas really likes to make weird weapons. You know what? I'll trade it out. Straight it out for the glue gun. Deft hands, Cap. Oh shit! <laughs> Every time. Ooh, pretty. Still, where was that secret uh, compartment that he was talking about? Or was it maybe that was the secret compartment? And since I never even... Yeah, because that slid up. Okay, that makes sense. So I was supposed to open this computer no matter what. I didn't actually need to go and get, uh, get Max to help me do it, because there was going to be that terminal password. Sifty pig is just gonna sit there grunting around on his own forever. Well, until he starves, I guess. Since Phineas isn't here to feed him anymore. Uh oh. Autosave. Huh. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Half expected someone to be waiting, some troops to pile out right here. Nothing? Okay. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Captain, 
As it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. As they should, yeah. Well, folks, I ain't exactly keen on busting into a prison, but riddling bored stooges with bullets does sound like a ride and a half. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. Yeah, it's expected. We can't abandon Phineas. We have to free him. If, there, if we've any hope of saving the colony, what's so bad about the labyrinth? Great. Figures I've got to be the one to save the day. Yeah, we can't abandon him. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. Basically warning me that this is the final mission, right? Don't worry, we already cleared up everything with Jalakur. <laughs> and she's dead, so. Uh, we're doing it, everyone strap in. We'll go eventually, but we'd better prepare. Crew, what do you think? It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane. But maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out! <laughs> what our units do best! <laughs> the entire plan is a terrible idea, but I admire your bravado, Captain. Which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. Alright, uh, we're doing it. Everyone strap in. If we don't make it? At least it'll be a great story. Got my trusty tossball stick. Got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Right? Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. <laughs> command not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. All right. Oh, let me just put my gun away. I didn't mean to put a machine gun on you guys. Anything else if I talk to you guys? Good to see you, boss. Oh, no, it's just the generic. Uh, never mind. All right. Well, I will go down to the bridge. We're going to do it. Although, I think that we're going to do it next time. So I'm going to be leaving you on a bit of a cliffhanger. As it's time to save and go have myself some dinner. So thank you for joining me for this rather long recording session. And I'll see you next time. Bye.